imagine that uh, this, this is a situation where we had uh, someone with a frozen shoulder. Uh, it's not painful anymore, but he's reached this level. He's trying to raise his mm -hmm. arm up. What do I do? Do I give him this exercise, uh, hold a bottle and do a 50 uh, curl, bicep curls or something like this? Okay. Uh, or uh, I can do something more functional. I can say to him, okay, um, can you reach for this bottle? Okay, and pass it to me over here. And pass it to me over here. And let me, let me yeah. take it. Uh, but you have to use your left arm, okay? And pass it. And pass it. And what I'm doing is I'm challenging his range of movement uh, by doing a functional task. He recognizes something as he needs to do. That's what he's trying to recover. Yeah. Uh, okay, so raise. And you'll be uh, taking him to where the, roughly end, the limit of his pain. That's right, threshold. yeah. Now, threshold, again, uh, I didn't talk about the process approach yet, but you, um, you are not worried about chronic pain and injury. So there's the pain of injury. You can divide uh, pain into two areas, pain of injury and pain of sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So pain of injury, you need to be very uh, um, aware of the pain limits. Uh, in chronic pain, the tissues are intact usually. Just think about something like Achilles tendinosis, which is a very chronic yes. problem. You can still run on it and jump and do every, whatever you want uh, because it's fully intact, but it's sensitive. Yeah. Okay, so here I can tease it a little bit more than I can go slightly into the pain. I'm, I'm not going to hurt him, and it's going to be within what he considered to be a tolerable level. Okay, so uh, reach, so this is week two, uh, week, week three, week four, week five, week six. And I'm now working on endurance also. There are different components that I'm working on in the movement. Okay, so this is endurance. Now I can take away the endurance uh, element of it, reach. Now he rests, reach. Is the weight of the bottle important? So I can also modify the force. So eventually I can take a bigger bottle and so on and so forth. And then you can do weird and wonderful things. You can get into, this movement is uh, limited. Um, okay, reach and pass it to me over here. Reach, pass it to me over here. And then I can stand behind him. And Basically I'm challenging yeah. all the movements that I can see he can't do. But I'm doing it functionally, as if he's reaching for his belt in the car and so on. Yes. So rather than giving him, you know, straight arm stretches along the wall mm -hmm. and all that, limited uh, effect. And so for a woman who presumably wants to be able to do an, undo her yeah. bra, you'd be taking it down below So his... what, you, what you can do is, if, if you stand, I don't know if they'll be able to see you. If, if you, you stand, stand with, turn him around. If you stand... Uh, okay, can you see his back? Okay, we'll do it with this arm. So I tap the back and pass it to me over here. Grab and pass it to me over here. Okay, grab and pass it to me over here. Okay, grab it and pass it to me over here. So we'll do a lot of those and we can do it in different parts of the back. So this kind of reaching is like pulling your trousers up. Uh, but this kind of reaching is maybe more like uh, drying your back. And this reaching is something completely different. So you, what you do is you, you go through the whole ranges. The moment you see something yes. that's limited, you kind of challenge it. But you try to do it with, some, with his movements mm -hmm. uh, rather than um, forcing it.